The definition of spasticity has evolved over time. Um, more recently, uh, clinicians are describing spasticity as a sensory motor disorder as a result of a lesion to the upper motor neuron system, so the brain or the spinal cord, characterized by intermittent or sustained involuntary muscle activation. What typically happens is that after an injury, individuals with spinal cord injury are in a spinal shock, so they have no reflexes and no spasticity at first. As the spinal shock resolves and as changes in the spinal cord occur, the spasticity can emerge. Not everyone gets it, but approximately 80% of individuals with spinal cord injury will. At first, it may be quite mild, uh, and perceived as non-problematic. Um, and in some individuals, that will progress and become more severe in its intensity and frequency, and it can become problematic. Sometimes you can feel it coming, like a twitch, kind of like a sneeze, you can feel it coming. Mm -hmm. You know, other times it just comes on sudden. At the moment, it is a huge problem. Uh, the pain and, and the tightness, the, the, the tone is there all the time. But the, you know, with some of the drugs, it, it relieves it and uh, just allows me to do you know other things. At times, you know, the tone is is beneficial. You know, when it when it helps me, you know, stand up, I guess. But uh, trying to find a balance. Individuals with spinal cord injury can experience spasticity, and that can be problematic or not problematic. The way that we think about non-problematic spasticity is if it either doesn't cause problems with pain or skin breakdowns, it can be helpful. So if you have an area of weakness that has muscle spasms, you can activate those spasms in order to help with things like positioning or transfers and sometimes even walking. The spasticity for me is being the biggest inhibitor from actually getting uh, ambulatory again. It's been ongoing for about nine months now. The issue for me is to actually get into the parallel bars where I've been trying to walk. With my right leg particularly, the spasticity comes on and I'm, I'm unable to load that leg to take a stride and continue forward in a walking pattern. So when, when I first started dealing with this as an issue, it was impossible to uh, get upright for any length of time before the spasticity kicked in, and I really had to return to sitting position or de-weight off the right leg. Problematic spasticity may be something that affects the body. So for example, it can cause pain, it can cause contractures, it can lead to skin breakdown because of the frequent spasms causing rubbing against surfaces. It can also cause problems with function, either passive function or active function. Another area that it can affect is general quality of life and participation. And one other thing is cosmesis. So if it interferes with your perception of yourself, so when you're asking an individual whether or not their plasticity is problematic, they may ask you, what do you mean by that? And that's one way to think about categorizing problematic spasticity that I find useful.